Hey, good evening, good evening, good afternoon. How's everyone doing? It's like 12 or 5. Good afternoon. How's everyone doing? As you see, the topic is let's talk. Let's talk for a few minutes. Let's talk for a few minutes. And during this uh, pandemic, I have said uh, on a number of occasions that this is a time that we should be getting, our, getting ourselves together, our relationship with God, because God wants us to have a relationship those that are quarantined, those that are not fully quarantined, guess what? You still have time to establish or reestablish your relationship with God. This has been on me pretty tough. Um, the Some states are opening, some states are opening back, and we all have a free will, whether we're going to go out there or we're going to be safe and cautious. Yes, our churches are closed. We're practicing social distancing, but guess what? You can still have, you can look online, have you some church service. Guess what? You can have and praise God all by yourself at your house. So when the doors do open back up, we all can be on one accord praising God. We can come in there with a praise on our lips because we've already done it at home. We've already done it at home. See, when you're at home, that's just, you're just practicing. You're just practicing. So when the doors open back up, we all should be coming together collectively and telling God, thank you. Why? Because the pandemic didn't take you out. Because he wakes you up every morning. He gives you the, you have life. Health and strength. Yeah, you might be a little, your, 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 your health might be a little shaky, but guess what? You still here. You still here. So why you can't get in your house and tell God, thank you. Tell him, praise God, because God is looking for some true soldiers. He's looking for some real soldiers. Don't go up in the church and and pretend that you're praise and pretend that that you do this all week and you know you don't. You do it at church. So why you wait until you get to church? Your life starts before Sunday or Saturday, whichever day you go to church. It starts before then. You have stuff that you, that you go through every day, stuff that comes upon you every day. So why we can't tell God thank you and praise him? Have time with you and your family. You and your family, this is the time that God wants you to just be real with him just put everything aside it's about you and god it's about you and god what are you doing it's not about the building where you go worship yes the bible says uh, assemble yourselves together with other saints but he he didn't say that if you're not there that that you don't praise you still praise you still worship you come into you come into the house just like it says. Assemble yourself with the other saints and let's praise together. But it, it didn't say that's the only time that you praise. That's the only time you shout. That's the only time you pray when you are amongst the people. Stop making a picture show because it's not a show. It's not a show. It's not a game. Just like this pandemic is not a game. Serving God is not a game. You either going to serve him or you're not. You either going to praise him, thank him for what you have or you're not. Somebody saying, what do I have to thank him for? Why am I thanking him all, this, all, uh, all that many times? Because you're still here. The pandemic, it didn't touch you. It didn't take you out. Do you know it's taking folks here and fro out. It's taking preachers out, ministers out. It's taking artists out. What's the young man's name? Uh, I know him, but I don't. I think it's Troy Sneed. Troy Sneed has lost the, his battle with COVID-19. I just read it. Uh, so it is taking people out, but you're still here. If you don't get somewhere and start praising God, I don't care if you're praising him by yourself. I don't care if you're worshiping him by yourself in your house. Get busy and do it. So when the doors of the churches open back up, it's going to be a hallelujah good time because we're going we to come in there together and praise. Now let me explain something to you. Some states are opening up. They're opening things up. I'm not going to even name where. Y'all know where. It's not for you. It's not benefiting you. It's not benefiting you. It is benefiting. Yeah, we understand that, that the 
<laughs> economy needs to, to keep thriving. But guess what? You have Walmarts, you have the Lowe's, you have all those type of stores that, that are bringing in money. Because we, I just came from the Walmart myself getting some grocery. So that is still going on. You don't have to put yourself in harm way because somebody say they getting ready to have a party and everybody come together. Nope. Because you don't know if somebody is a carrier of this disease. Don't know you don't know if somebody a carrier of the virus. They can have they can be systematic. They have symptoms but don't know it. So it's best if you be safe and cautious. If you don't have to go out, stay in. Stay in your house. Tell God thank you. It wasn't my time. Tell him thank you. Tell God thank you. You have to have a personal relationship with God. Can anybody on this line tell me you have somewhere at your house already set up an altar of sorts, set up for you and God to commune with one another? I do. It's right here where I'm sitting, and I have a space in my closet. So when 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 I feel like life is just weighing on my shoulders, I begin to call on God. I begin to call on the name of Jesus because I can't do this by myself, God. I can't walk this walk on this earth by myself. I need you to help me. So I just want to tell you, this is a time you need to be establishing, reestablishing your relationship with God. Now, let me talk about your children. Don't tell your children to go pray if they haven't seen you pray. You have to show them that you pray instead of, baby, go on in there and pray about it. No, we're going to pray about it. We're going to have, we going to tackle this together. Go in there and pray. No, that's just like somebody saying, I'm going to drop you off at church. You're going to drop me off. Where you going? You can't, you have to be the example your babies need to see. Your children need to see you pray. They need to see you labor. They need to understand what, stay grounded and God going to move. He, they need to see that. They're looking at your life. Your, our children love us now, but they're looking at the way we handle things. We say we love God, we pray to God, but then on the other hand, we doubt what he say he going to do. Our children are looking. They're paying attention. They're paying attention to us. They're looking at what we do. This is a time to establish, reestablish your relationship. God wants a relationship with you. He doesn't want just, oh, okay, I know a name. Or he don't want you to say, yeah, I know him. I heard what he did. He wants you to get from the I heard of to the I know of. I know what God can do for me. Because he's done it before. If he's done it before, he'll definitely do it again. You got to get, you have to get that in your spirit that God is a God of chance after chance after chance, but he wants you at some point to turn it around, turn your life around. You have to make the first step. You have to make the first step in changing your life. Lord, I want to change my life. I want to make some changes that I don't even understand. I want to make some changes for you, God. For the life that I live, I live for you. That's what he's waiting on us to do. That's what he's waiting on us to do. So it's all about you have to start somewhere. And the place you start, you sit there and get your Bible. I know it's a lot of people probably going to get a hold to this. They might not like it, but I have to give it to you the way he gave it to me. He said, my people need to have some time for me. You have time for all, everything else. You have time to sit there and watch TV. You have time to sit there and play games. I, wait, when I get my time, that's what he asking me to ask you. When is God going to get his time? You already quarantined. Some of us can't go to work. I do. I still go to work. We on a split schedule, but I still go to work. So this morning when I got up, I went outside and I, I got my walk on. I did it yesterday too, but I got my walk on. See, anybody who know me, you know that's me in God's time. That's when he talks to me, he pours into me, and I just get excited about what God is telling me. Excited that he says, I'm pleased with you, Gigi. I'm pleased with you. Continue to pour out what I've given you. Continue to give it to him like I've given it to 
you. Don't sugarcoat it. I want them to know the unadulterated truth. They need to turn from their wicked ways. Turn back to me. Give me some time. The time that we give the TV, the phone, everything else, let us give God that time. God is waiting for us to establish our area at our house, our altar, so to speak. I, just, just for you and God. You and God time. Then you show your children that you set this up. And believe it or not, they will duplicate what you do. They'll duplicate what you do. So are we ready to give all in to God? Or are we still holding out? Are you ready to give all in because he's giving you life? Or are you still holding out on what he's told you? He's called somebody to do something. He's called you to do an assignment, but you keep backing up. Stop backing up. The assignment is not going to go away. Stop backing up. Stop, stop saying, I can't. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. How, who you think got you up this morning? Who you think started you on your way? It wasn't your clock. See, my clock didn't go off because I turned it off. It was God. God allowed me to wake up. He allowed, He blew breath in my body. And I'm thankful and I'm grateful for what God is doing in my life. What I'm not the same person I was last week, last month, last year. This is a new somebody you see, a new creature in God. And I trust God with everything in me. <laughs> Somebody say, you act like everything, no, everything ain't going all right. Everything ain't Sunday at my house, but I still trust God to know that what I have to go through is to make me a better person. What I have to go through is building some spiritual muscles. What I have to go through is letting me know and you know God is still in charge. He's looking high and he, he's sitting high and he's looking low. See, that's what he's doing for me. So what is it that you're doing at your quarantine time that's going to benefit you getting the glory? What is What are you doing? What are you doing with your time that you are, are you going to get to your destiny, that you're doing what God has told you to do, even though it don't feel good, it don't seem right, but you still going to do it. Do y'all think it felt good for me to come on here like this? Do you think I wanted to, but he said he needed me to get on here and come just like this to tell you the doors are closed. The doors are closed. Some states are opening things back up, but the church doors are closed. That doesn't mean your, your line to him is closed. Your line of communication to God is yet open. He's waiting for you to call him. He's waiting for you to say, "Good Lord, I need you. He waiting on us. He's not, you're not waiting on him. He right there. He waiting for you to say, fill me up, God. Fill me up. Fill me up, God, with your glory, with your anointing. Fill me up, God. That's what he waiting for you to say. Are you ready to say it? It's time for you to say it. Some of us have gone through hell and hot water for years. It's time for you to give up the ghost. Tell God yes. I'll go if I have to go by myself. That's what we need to be doing. Surrender the person you know and take on who God is calling you to be. The anointing that he has placed on your life. The appointment that he's assigned you. The approval. <laughs> the elevation that he's taking you to. Stop resisting what God is doing. Stop resisting what God is doing. He's ready for you to move closer to him. It's time out for the, I have a little faith. Your faith is supposed to grow. It's supposed to continue to grow. It's not supposed to stay the mustard seed size. Your faith is supposed to continue to grow as you grow. Now the question is, are you growing? Are you growing in God? Are you asking him, what is it that, that you would have me to do today? See, that's my question every day. Who is it that you want me to talk to today, God? Who is it that you want me to pour into today, God? That's my question every day. While I was out there walking, I began to walk and just begin to pray for my leaders. I pray for my church leaders. Pray for the pastor 
uh, co-pastor, overseer, the families of, of the of, of Metropolitan Full Gospel Baptist Church. I begin to pray. Cover them, God. Wherever they are, God, cover them. If it's something that we are not doing, turn us around, God. Make sure we do your will and not our will because our will is not important. It's the will that God has for our life. Jeremiah 29, 11. He knows the plans he has for us to prosper us and not harm us. He knows the plans. So we gonna walk in the plans that God has. We gonna walk the way he has us to walk. We gonna talk to who he tells us to talk to. We gonna welcome in those that he tells us to welcome in. We gonna minister to those he tells us to minister to. See, you don't just go when the doors of the church are open. The church, church doors are open back. You come in there, and for me, I don't have to. I don't praise or or shout on cue. I know what God has done for me for 52 years, and I just come in there praising him anyhow. Do you know your breakthrough is in your praise? Your breakthrough is telling God thank you, whether it's your healing, your restoration, your your whatever it is that you have going on. Your healing, your collect, you're keeping your mind, it's in your praise. Get into a habit that you're praising God no matter what's going on in your life. You still praise it. Do you think that I feel like doing getting live every day? No, I don't. Sometimes I don't feel good myself, but I push my way through. Come on, push. I push. Push it through. I keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. I'm telling somebody, keep pushing. Keep pushing. It don't feel good. Keep pushing. I, my leg hurt. Keep pushing. You got to keep pushing your way through. Keep pushing your way through. Keep pushing. I, I implore you and I encourage you <clears throat> today. Whether it's after you get off here, when, you, uh, <clears throat> when you're at home, wherever you are. Stop what you're doing and just give God a praise. Because he saved your life. You're not affected. You're not dead. God, God saved you. He stepped in and saved you. Just in the nick of time when you thought your life was gone. I know you can remember, think back over your life. And you remember some things that you did that wasn't, was not right, was not orthodox. And you thought you was going to die at that moment. But God stepped in and pulled you out of the line of fire. So we need to tell God, thank you. You need to always have a praise on your lips. When I think back over my life and all that God has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. My soul cries out, thank you, Jesus. My soul cries out, thank you, Lord. Because I could have been dead and gone. But I'm trying to help somebody. Get into a posture where you hear God. Get into a posture where you want to praise God. Get into a posture where you want to praise God. <laughs> Didn't plan on doing this. But that's just how. How much I love the Lord. How much I want everybody to be saved. Get closer to him. Establish and reestablish your relationship with God. This is the time. When you're at home. This is the time. You're not busy like you used to be. This is the time to lay aside every weight. Tell God, I'm sorry, God. I didn't do all that you told me to do. But I'm sorry, God. Build me up to be one of your soldiers, God. Help me to do what you would have me to do, God. Because we need God. He might tell us something, but something say I, that it's not going to feel right. That's when you ask God to give me what you need. Give me what I need to be obedient to your word, God. Give me what I need to change my circumstances. Circumstances. Give me what I need to change my environment. Your environment could be people, places, or things. You got to change your life. Change your life. And come, come closer to God. God wants to have an intimate relationship with you. He wants to know you. 
And he wants you to know him like he knows you. See, God knew us before we came out of our mother's womb. But he wants us to know him. He wants to know us intimately. He wants you to know him intimately. So what are we going to do? For me, for me in my house, we shall serve the Lord. Your relationship is an individual thing. I pray for my family, but only them can get them where God has for them to go. But I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep laboring. I'm going to keep laying on the floor prostrating before the Lord. <laughs> so he can give me some more instructions and some directions. All I want God to do is be pleased with me. Be pleased with what he told me to do. Be pleased with what he told me to put in my hand. And I'm following his leads. I'm not trying to lead anything. I'm coming to God. Sorrowful Lord, please. Thank you, Lord. Help me do what you have instructed me to do. Because <laughs> we all need to. That's, that's the posture we all need to be in. Lord, help me. Help me. Once again. Church doors closed. That doesn't, need, that doesn't mean your prayer, your worship, and your prayer closes. You should always be doing that. Set you somewhere up in your house where it's just you and God. You can close your door. Now, I do that sometimes. Close my door. Come in here and just, just lay prostrate. Cross my bed. And just ask God to help me. Bless me, Lord. The things that I need to be doing. Yesterday, I asked him, give me what I need to get out there and get my walk on. Because I used to do it all the time, but I got out of practice. He gave it to me. I went out there and walked. <laughs> I asked him again. I went out there this morning. God is good. You ought to take this time right now. And just to tell God, thank you. Praise him. Ask him to give you a new dance, a new shout, a new worship. This time is supposed to be some newness when we come back amongst each other. We're supposed to be new. We are renewed. We're supposed to be being renewed by God and come back and be ready to praise and worship. Don't care what nobody say about your praising and shout. They don't know what you've been through. They don't know what it took. Let me, let me talk for me. You don't know what it took for me to get right here. And keep pouring into you what God is pouring into me. With tears coming out my face. You don't even know. You don't have a clue. But I promise you. When you give your life over to God. Things will change. When you give your circumstances over to God. Things will change. He wants you to give it up to him. Let it go. Let him have his way. In your life. Father God, thank you for allowing us to come before your presence one more time, God. Thank you for your visitation of your spirit right now, God. God, we love you right now, God. Let us know that we have to have a true worship, true praise, God. <clears throat> and true worship, true praise, and true dance right now, God. God, just fill us up. Build us up, God, where we're torn down. Strengthen us where we we God. Give us what we need to be an active participant in our lives in the kingdom, God. Just because the doors are closed doesn't mean that we don't praise, we don't shout, we don't have a time with you, God. Let those who don't have a assigned place in their homes to set aside a place just for you and them, God. So you can talk to them. They can talk to you, God. You can build them up where they're torn down, God. Strengthen us where we're weak right now, God. Lord, I thank you right now. Thank you for your words, God. Thank you for the visitation, God. God, I thank you right now. God, and let us know if we will just be grounded, you're going to move. We trust you, God. We trust you, God. We lead not into our own understanding, but we trust the... Where you're carrying us, God. Where you're taking us right now, God. In the name of Jesus, bless us right now. Those that are at home, God, let them continue to give you more time. More time, more prayer time, more worship time, more praise time, God. 
those that are at, that still have to go to work, God, bless them as they go to work, God, but still let them have a word, a word in their mouth, God, just to continue to call on you, God. Let them have a word when the world hands them all kind of foolishness, God. Let them hand them a word. No weapon formed against them shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against them, you shall condemn, God. Let them have some word in their mouth. We are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the bar. Let, let them have a word, God. Protect them as protect us as we go about the dangerous highways and byways, God. No malfunctions, no mishaps, no nothing will happen to the vehicle, God. Keep us safe from all hurt, harm, and danger right now, God. In the name of Jesus, we give you honor and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. I love each and every one of you all. I love you. Love you. Love you. Uh, if you need me, don't hesitate to give me a call. Uh, I appreciate you all getting on, watching. I love you all to life. Hey, D, I love you all to life. Just remember, they may be opening, opening, opening the states back up, but we don't have to go. You don't have to go to the club. You don't have to go to the restaurants and eat in. See, for me and mine, this has made me cook a little more. And it's been pretty good, too. But um, you don't have to go. If we all join together and stay at home, we'll stay alive. Y'all be blessed. Love you. If you need me, give me a call. Appreciate you. If I said anything that resonated, that did something for you, please share the broadcast. I really appreciate it. Love y'all. Have a good day.